Um. <clears throat> Good evening. That was a mostly slow one today. Though I did mop the entire house. That was fun. <laughs> Actually, wasn't that bad. Dad had a disappointment and mom went with him. And so I hooked up my phone to my dad's speaker bar in the den. It just jacked it all the way up. So I could hear it all throughout the house. <laughs> it ended up being kind of fun. Except for the part where my lower back and my knees hurt. Knees are new. Usually it's my ankles. <sighs> I'm turning 30 this year. <laughs> Rome Road continues to be fun. Um, to keep it interesting, I was looking up, see, I did a tribal start, and part of that is everything you research is much slower. You start with, like, no research, except for the few ones that were given to me thanks to ideology. And overall, like, pretty much all research is nearly doubled, and sometimes more than doubled, depending on how far down the line it is. And so I popped into dev mode, and I was just going to, like, take off a few big ones, because I didn't mind having to still research. Like, at this point, I want to point out that at this point, my colony was entirely stable. Um, like, this wasn't a way to save it. It was stable overall, very, you know, very positive mood-wise. This was to keep this colony interesting. <laughs> so I decided... You know, like I said, I was going to take off a few big ones that I wanted to play around with that I had not really gotten around to in other colonies due to the whole survival thing. Um, well, come to find out, you can't do individual technology research technology. You can't do individual researches. You just unlock all research. And at first, I was on the fence about it, and then I said, you know what? Screw it. This is probably going to be the only time I'll play around with some of the things included in these mods. A big one being the factories. I've always wanted to mess around with them, you know, like a lot, but the most I've done is the auto sower and harvesters, which aren't really. which are pretty much just like place set and that's it. But there's a lot of other, like, conveyor, well, not necessarily conveyor, but um, there are chains for other such, you know, like, uh, for one easy example is an auto driller that drills for stone chunks, which dump, which you can have dumped immediately into a masonry saw, um, which turns those chunks into blocks. Then there are uh, other, uh, you know, more complicated chains from, like, you know, like, basic component to advanced component to uh, a product. Or, like, you know, you have, you can do fabrication, you can do, like, the breakdown of fabrics into an auto loom, which, you know, um, a machine that breaks down fabrics into, you know, it breaks down apparel into usable fabric, and then another one that, like, makes stuff out of that fabric. Or a three-piece chain for making a better medicine. Just all kinds of things I've never really played around with before that I want to. And then cap the night off I had a large infestation so 
to kind of paint the picture. My, my base is built into the mountains, but I haven't fully, you know, explored them, but there is a big chunk. I strip mined early on looking for components. Um, I'd done fairly well keeping this area since like it was immediately off of my base sealed off um, like it at the very base you know just if, if nothing else just to kind of um, just so I could keep my like I've got one big room that connects a lot of places and I've been slowly trying to section it off so that like if I assign someone to clean that room they're not cleaning the whole damn base but it turned out to be a good thing because, again, this is where this large infestation was. And so I get all of my troops behind the double doors, you know, waiting for everything to pop in, and then I'm going to assess the damage and just go from there. And it's a lot. It's a lot, lot. We're talking, like, at least three, maybe four massive hives and five or six smaller ones. Um, just... A lot of bugs. A lot of giant angry bugs. So I inch my people in, and the first thing I notice that is odd is out of like the, the, the 20 bugs that I know have my colonists in their line of sight, absolutely zero of them are attacking. I'm like, okay, that's odd. So I order a colonist to take a shot at one of the big ones. And this is where the first, the, you know, the second kind of red flag goes off, that something's odd, you know, instead of it just attacking back like I expected it to, I got the pop-up for revenge, which tells me yet again, these bugs are not, they're not like, they're not hostile. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And in fact, as this as the short fight against this one bug was ensuing, the rest of them fled into the tunnels that were where I'd been fled from the big room that they started in, which is where I'm building my factory, into the tunnels that I hadn't um, sealed off yet, where I done where I had done my strip mining earlier. And so at this point, I just, I'm like, all right, I'm going to destroy the hive search because even at, the, I think at this point, it hasn't sunk into me that they're just a neutral faction for somehow. Um, so I start cleaning out the hives and again, no aggression from the insects. I'm like, all right, fine. I've scared them all off into the tunnels. I'm just going to seal them in there and see what happens and that's what I did and then it also dawned on me I can tame them and they have I mean it's a 10% chance but that's real that's fairly low for like I think you know there are a lot of other um, dangerous but very useful animals that you can tame like I think I think timber wolves are like a 30% chance for revenge on a tame on a failed tame attempt. A goose is 85% chance to attack you when you, if you fail to tame them. Because geese are just angry motherfuckers like that. <laughs> but yeah, so now I have a bunch of bugs sealed in my old strip mine. Um and I have them all set to tame, and so I'm either going to walk away with, you know, like one of two things are going to happen to these bugs. Either I will tame them, or they will starve. And occasionally maybe one will get mad at the tame attempt, and hopefully I'll be able to take care of that. Because again, unless it's one of the rare revenges that does get multiple ones to respond but like even then it'll be the individual species not all of the bugs and by that I mean you know you have mega scarabs 
mega spiders, royal mega spiders, that kind of thing. You know, it, you're just going to get the single species of bug and not all of them. Because I already have a couple. I bought them off of a bioengineer or whatever. I have like a couple of mega scare, uh, soliopes or something, whatever they call it, and one mega spider. I also have one that was added in Vanilla Expanded, a cute a pillar, and it's literally just this this caterpillar that people it makes people happy when they look at it, and that's it. <laughs> and I spent like 400 silver on this thing, and you know what? It's great because people see it and get a plus five mood boost. <laughs> to put that in perspective, these are the same people that get a minus three mood boost when they don't eat from the table that's right in front of them because they are stupid. So if I can just get this caterpillar that offsets and then some the without table buff just by being in the presence of my colonists. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Catch you all tomorrow.